Hey there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to learn how you can back up your WordPress databases automatically and regularly using a plugin. Now, the question you might have is that, is that enough if you want to restore a complete website only using a database? The answer is just no, it's not enough. Because to restore a complete website, you will need the databases itself and then the uh, folders and files that uh, the old site use, for example, like the uploads folder to store your images and the files and and the plugins and so forth. So, uh, especially if you have a premium or child themes and other stuff, you will need more than just databases. Now, I've created already a video that I've just uploaded to YouTube on this channel about how to manually back up the whole site but I don't publish it for now because I think it is also important to pick up your databases uh, automatically in case you are somewhere else in holiday and you don't have time to manually to back up. My recommendation is that you do manually back up your website at least once a month or once in two weeks. In this case, that you know for sure that you already pick up manually your whole website. Now, there is a lot of uh, good plugins to pick up your whole site, but, but um, nobody can guarantee that this plugin will work. Also, I don't recommend that you store or save your website uh, backup files in your servers because who knows that somebody know the path of your uh, files in your web server and then download it for them. And also, I don't recommend that you save your uh, backup files and databases somewhere in cloud drives like Dropbox or other um, servers because um, it's not that I don't trust them, but uh, for me personally, I would just prefer to have this kind of backup in my computer or at least in my email address. And also, you need to know it depends on the long and the size of the website itself. I mean, I have already have website that I've started already from 2011. That means that now it's already four years. One thing to note that it's also depending on the frequency of your uh, posting. So if you post uh, often or once daily, then you will need to pick up your websites more often than when you post maybe once in a week. So I personally, just recommend that you do pick up manually. So please feel free to uh, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to upload um, the manual backup in the near future. But for now, we are going to install a plugin and then to um, do uh, automatic backup of the databases for the second um, for the safety. So the first step that we're going to do is log into our dashboard. So this is my dashboard and then uh, like usual, to install plugin, you can go to plugins and add new. Once you are here, we're going to install WP or we are going to search for WP DB Backup and then hit search plugins button and then it will show you this. Now, there are a lot of plugins that can do this, but I know that WP DB Backup is working. So it will send the backup of the databases automatically in uh, my email address. So once you install the plugin, you will see details of the plugin and the install now button. I strongly recommend that you read on details here. So let's go clicking on the details button here. And here you can see description, installation, change log, and then uh, frequency as questions and other notes and so forth. But the most important is that the descriptions and it says even that uh, it has the warning that this plugin has not been tested with your current version of WordPress. Now you can also clicking on this uh, WordPress.org plugin page and then you will uh, be proud to this page where the plugin in WordPress uh, directory is. So as you can see here in this tab you will see reviews and developers and so forth. So you can read on reviews and actually um, I have the similar uh, issue with the people here that Actually, I use this plugin already long time and it always works. What I mean is that it will send the uh, databases um, back up to my email uh, properly. So this is why we need to manually back up our site at least once a month so we know that we do back up ourselves. 
because no one can guarantee whether a plugin can work or not. So let's go back to our dashboard. So now uh, you see that you have this warning, you can try to install this plugin and then see if it works for you or you choose another plugin. But for this video, because I've already used this plugin for a long time, I'm just going to install it now. So going to click this install now button and then activate the plugin. And then once it is activated, you go to tools and then backup. So once you are in this page, as you can see, this is one of the reasons why I use this plugin because it's very easy to use. It doesn't have any other options or any um, any other complicated options. That it's just easy to use and to understand. So by default, this is the core WordPress databases tables that WPDB backup plugin will um, pick up automatically without you choosing the which tables that you need to pick up and, and stuff. But uh, I recommend that you don't ex uh, you tick this exclude spam comments because if you pick up your databases, you don't want to pick up the spam comments as well. And also, it's exclude post revisions. Now it depends to you, but I personally will will just check this box because I don't want to um, pick up the post revisions. So. Um, next is that now it has backup options. As you can see, we have three options here, but I really don't recommend that you save the backup to your servers because people who know that you install WBDB backup will know the path to your server and I just don't recommend this. So for safety, I would choose download to my computer if you want to pick up now. So let's pick up now for now to, and download it to our computer. So click on pick up now button and it will pick it up. So it depends on the uh, size of the website and because this website is new, that's why it's quite fast. So once you're done, you have your backup uh, of the databases in your download folder. But uh, the point of this video is actually um, regularly picking up your databases. So in this case, I want to schedule a backup and here we choose on the schedule and depending on how frequent you post in your website, you might choose this period of time. So I think once hourly is too much. So that's why I'm going to choose once weekly. So I'm just going to click on once weekly and then I'm going to email this databases backup to this email address. Make sure that you also secure your email address. And um, once you've done that, you can just click on schedule backup. In this case, it will pick up your WordPress databases and it says that the next backup is on my fourth um, at this time. And you can also change it if you like, but for now, I'm just going to leave it by default and that is okay. So uh, you see how easy it is that this databases will be automatically and regularly sent to your email address and not saving somewhere else where you don't have full controls of uh, the servers or drives. So I recommend that you also do manual backup that I will post the video uh, in the next week or in the next day. So thank you so much for watching this video and please like this video if it's really useful for you or leave a comment below this video if you have any other opinion and I will be gladly to respond. So thank you so much and take care of yourself. Goodbye.